the Royal Navy's Type 31 Inspiration Class Frigate. Constructed by Babcock under a £1.25 billion contract, these frigates are based on the Arrowhead 140 design. The comprehensive testing included the Integrated Communication System TACTICOS Combat Management System and the Integrated Bridge and Navigation System. This achievement paves the way for the HMS Venturer's delivery expected in 2025 and underscores the collaboration between the Royal Navy, Babcock, and Thales. The Type 31 frigates, part of the UK's national shipbuilding strategy, are set to replace the aging Type 23 Duke-class frigates. Excel, a global leader in naval navigation, has been selected by Anschutz, a leading German company specializing in ship navigation systems, to supply Marin's inertial navigation systems INS, for the Royal Navy's T-31 Inspiration Class General Purpose Frigates. Exal's high-end Marin's INS will provide the T-31 frigates with uninterrupted and highly accurate navigation data, regardless of GNSS, Global Navigation Satellite System, availability or external disruptions. This capability ensures that the T-31 crews maintain precise awareness of their location, even in challenging scenarios such as GNSS spoofing or jamming, granting them a crucial navigational advantage for achieving operational success. We take great pride in contributing to the Royal Navy's mission success through the supply of our Marins Inns for the T-31 frigates. This contract underlines the quality and reliability of XL navigation systems, which are maintenance-free and fully meet the stringent military requirements of the most modern combat ships. Through this collaboration, XL remains dedicated to driving innovation and providing advanced navigation solutions to support the evolving needs of the Royal Navy's critical missions. Jens Higgin, Regional Sales Director at XL, the selection of Exal's Marins Inns for the T-31 frigates further strengthens Exal's position as a trusted navigation partner for the Royal Navy. Exal's navigation solutions are already deployed on numerous Royal Navy vessels, including the Astute-class nuclear attack submarines, Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, Duke-class frigates, as well as Vanguard-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The T-31 frigates will play a pivotal role in deterring aggression and safeguarding the security of the UK's interests. These frigates, designed to be agile and versatile, will replace the T-23 frigates, enhancing the Royal Navy's operational capabilities across general-purpose roles. They boast advanced capabilities like vertical launch systems and sophisticated gun systems, all while requiring significantly fewer crew members, a strategic adjustment to address recruiting challenges. The Royal Navy plans to have all five Type 31 frigates operational by 2028, enhancing its fleet with modern, efficient warships. British shipbuilder Babcock, which leads the Team 31 consortium, is building five of the general-purpose frigates for the Royal Navy based on the Arrowhead 140 design. They are operating under a £1.25 billion, £1 $1.59 billion, contract awarded in November 2019. Thales, as part of Team 31, is also responsible for the delivery and integration of the full Type 31 mission system, which comprises the Combat System, Integrated Communication System ICS, and Integrated Bridge and Navigation System IBNS. According to the British contractor, the first Inspiration Class vessel completed the three main system-level factory acceptance tests, which included the tests of the ICS last September. 
This was followed in November by tests of the TACTICOS combat management system including the main radar, electro-optical sensors, and integration with the ship's missile and gun systems. The IBNS factory acceptance test was also completed last year. The successful completion of those tests brings the first ship of the class, the HMS Venturer, one step closer to delivery. Working closely with our Royal Navy and Babcock colleagues, we are delighted to have successfully completed this critical stage in the development of the Royal Navy's new Type 31 frigates, said Nigel McVean, Managing Director of Above Water Systems UK at Thales. Five of the Type 31 frigates are being built for the Royal Navy, while an additional five variants will be produced for the Polish and Indonesian navies, three for the former sea service and two for the latter. The 5,700-ton vessels were developed as part of the UK's national shipbuilding strategy. They will replace the Royal Navy's aging Type 23 Duke-class frigates later this decade and will operate alongside the service's eight submarine-hunting Type 26 frigates. The warships are being constructed at the brand-new assembly facility in Rosyth Dockyard in Scotland where Babcock laid the keel of the future HMS Venturer in April 2022. The keel for the second vessel of the class, the HMS Active, was laid in January 2023. The HMS Venturer is on track to enter service in 2025. She will be equipped with a helicopter flight deck and boat base. Advanced weaponry will include vertical launch systems capable of firing standard missile SM-2s, SM-3s, and SM-6s, Tomahawk cruise missiles, and Sea Sparrows, among others. Each Type 31 frigate will further be outfitted with sophisticated multi-purpose gun systems, such as a Bofors 57 Mk3 medium-caliber gun along with two Bofors 40 Mk4 small-caliber guns. The UK-based shipbuilder plans to deliver all five Type 31 frigates by 2028. The Type 31 will reportedly operate with less than one-third of the present vessel's crew, an adjustment meant to help address the Royal Navy's recruiting woes. The future warships will require a crew of just 50 officers and sailors, significantly fewer than the 185 personnel that operated the Type 23 frigates.